An aircraft carrier is considered the most valuable sea-based asset and offers an incomparable military instrument with its ability to project tactical air power over long distances. Few countries are upgrading or developing new aircraft carriers, and these will be commissioned soon in the near future with lots of technological advancement. Today, let's have a look at the 10 upcoming aircraft carriers. So firstly, we have the Type 003 aircraft carrier. This is a second-generation aircraft carrier under construction for the People's Liberation Army Navy. The Type 003 will be the first indigenously built Chinese aircraft carrier to feature an integrated electric propulsion system. This will allow the operation of electromagnetic launch catapults. Construction began in the mid-2010s and is scheduled to enter active service by 2023. It is estimated to have an aircraft capacity of about 40 combat aircraft and a displacement of 85,000 tons. Up next is the CVX aircraft carrier. The Republic of Korea announced recently that it would move ahead with its CVX light aircraft carrier program for the South Korean Navy at an estimated cost of 1.8 billion US dollars. The construction of an indigenous aircraft carrier will be a major milestone for Korean shipbuilding, and the conventionally powered 45,000 ton, 265 meter long vessel will enter service in 2033. The aircraft carrier will be unique in that it will accommodate the F-35B vertical takeoff and landing fighter. Up next is the Pang, which is a French aircraft carrier project intended to replace the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. Construction on the aircraft carrier is expected to commence in 2025, while its commissioning is scheduled for 2038. With a displacement of roughly 75,000 tons, it will be capable of carrying up to 30 next-generation marine variants of the future combat air system programs, new-generation fighter aircraft, and remote carrier vehicles. The carrier will be able to integrate modern intelligence technology and display higher command power to carry out increasingly diversified and complicated missions. Up next, we have the INS Vishal, which is a projected aircraft carrier for the Indian Navy that will be built by Cochin Shipyard Limited. The Hindustan Times stated in April 2021 that the Indian Navy, having decided to prioritize nuclear-powered and conventional submarines in future sea warfare, will now regard the third aircraft carrier, INS Vishal, as a successor for the serving INS Vikramaditya. It is estimated that the carrier wing of INS Vishal could consist of carrier base HAL TEDBF and naval version of HAL AMCA. It could carry a total of 55 aircraft. Up next is the USS John F. Kennedy CVN 79. This is the second Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier being built for the United States Navy. It is scheduled to enter service in 2022, and Kennedy will continue the legacy of highly capable nuclear-powered aircraft carrier platforms. Ford-class enhancements incorporated into the design include flight deck changes, improved weapons handling systems. This class also features new nuclear power plants, increased electrical power generation capacity, allowance for future technologies, and reduced workload for sailors, translating to a smaller crew size and reducing operating costs for the Navy. Next, we have the Type 004 aircraft carrier, which is a planned aircraft carrier of the People's Liberation Army Navy's aircraft carrier program. The Type 004 will be larger and also the first Chinese carrier to feature nuclear marine propulsion and could generate enough electricity to power laser weapons and railguns currently under development. It is expected to be completed by the late 2020s and up to four could be built. It would likely carry J-15 and J-31 fighters, Xi'an KJ-600 airborne early warning and control aircraft, anti-submarine warfare aircraft, and stealth attack drones. Up next is the Project 23000E or Storm. The Russian aircraft carrier Project 23000E Storm, which is scheduled to enter Russian Navy service in the next decade, will be outfitted with the S-500 Prometheus anti-aircraft missile system. 
with a displacement of 90,000 to 100,000 tons and length of up to 330.1 meter, it is almost the same as the U.S. Navy's Nimitz class. The project 23,000E Storm would carry 90 aircraft, including fighters, attack jets, airborne early warning, electronic warfare and reconnaissance planes. Sensors will also include multifunction phased array radar, electronic warfare system and communication suite. Up next is the USS Doris Miller CVN-81. This is a future Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. Doris Miller is scheduled to be launched in October 2029. The ship will honor Messman's second-class Doris Miller, who received the Navy Cross for his actions during the attack on Pearl Harbor. It will be the second ship named in his honor, the first being the destroyer escort USS Miller. Aircraft capacity for this carrier is approximately 90 combat aircraft. These aircraft carriers are designed to be the centerpiece of the nation's security strategy and support and protect the global economy through the protection of sea lanes around the world. India's first indigenous aircraft carrier, the INS Vigran, set sail recently for the second sea trials ahead of its planned induction into the Indian Navy by August next year. It is 262 meters long, 62 meters wide, and displaces about 40,000 metric tons. The deck is designed to enable aircraft such as the MiG 29K to operate from the carrier. It is expected to carry up to 36 to 40 aircraft, which will include up to 24 to 26 fixed wing combat aircraft, primarily the Mikoyan MiG 29K, besides carrying 10 Kamov Ka 31 or Westland Sea King helicopters. Lastly, we have the USS Enterprise CBN-80. This will be the third Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carrier to be built for the United States Navy. The Ford-class will be designed with expandable energy capacity for future warfare systems like high-energy lasers. Construction on the ship began in 2017 and builders are now performing early manufacturing and structural fabrication. She is scheduled to be in operation by 2028 and with a length of 337 meters and a displacement of 100,000 metric tons, she can carry about 90 combat aircraft. The carrier will be armed with evolved Sea Sparrow missile, rolling airframe missile and close-in weapon system. And with this, the Buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Stay tuned for more videos from the Buzz. Bye-bye.